Please welcome this week's special guest, Matthew. <laughs> Richard, what is Matthew to you? This is Matthew. When we were nine years old, we co-founded an atheist's club. <laughs> Clive, what is Matthew to you? This is Matthew, and when he was filming me reporting on a rise in street crime, someone took his camera. And finally, Lee, what is your relationship with Matthew? This is Matthew. I had to foot his dry cleaning bill after my fidget spinner landed in his soup. <laughs> <laughs> so there we have it. Is Matthew Richard's atheist ally, Clive's cameraless cameraman, or Lee's dirty diner? <laughs> David's team. Who would you like to start with? Richard? Yes. Atheists Club? Yes. Well, there's an obvious question, isn't there? <laughs> Um, at what point did you decide to lie about your atheism just to earn money from the Church of England? <laughs> Matthew and I were boy trebles, choristers together mm -hmm. uh, at prep school, and uh, we sang in the choir together, and at the age of nine, we formed the school chapel choir Atheists Club. Wow. As a protest against the blandishments of religion and as a refusal to submit to the mythical and tyrannical yep. deity forced upon Richard, us. Richard, Richard, it's Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet you had a lovely voice as well, because, you know, with, with the communards, yeah. you were lovely, weren't you? Well, that wasn't me singing in the... Have you ever interviewed yeah. a rock star before? <laughs> <laughs> with the communards, you were lovely, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Next week, Mick Jagger. It was like the Rolling it. Stones, you were lovely, isn't it? <laughs> I don't believe that a nine-year-old would have bonked his Christmas stocking on the head like that. <laughs> That's a very interesting point. Did you still have a Christmas stocking? Well, I would suspend my atheism if there was any chance of personal <laughs> reward. <laughs> <in that. laughs> yes. OK, I, uh, I believe that, that. Yes. yes, yeah. Yes. And, yet, and now you've done so with your whole career. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so at what point did you begin to doubt your doubts? At what point did I wake from the slumber of atheism? Yeah. Yes, exactly. That came along much later, when I was in my uh, late 20s, after a period of uh, turbulence in life, and I realised that uh, what I had acquired, unknowingly, uh, all those years ago in the choir, uh, was actually... I was good to go with it. And that was after the communards, a time at which, I will say, you were lovely. Thank you very much. <laughs> Was it just you and Matthew, or were there other no, non-believers? No, there was uh, Porky Hamblin as well. Porky, Porky Hamblin? <laughs> yeah. Porky, Porky Hamblin sounds like a cartoon character yeah. they used to advertise you in the pies. Bino. He was only Were you real. brought up in an Enid Blyton? <laughs> <laughs> Porky, Porky Hamblin uh, was a barrister who became a Pilates teacher in Market Harborough. <laughs> Could you harmonise now together, you and Matthew? No, like, Matthew's, not allowed, Matthew's, Matthew's not, not allowed to sing. Matthew's not allowed to I've got a lovely voice, so um, <laughs> if you wanted to, to sing, we could. Sing choirs of angels, sing in exultation. Oh, you, you did that. I went for that as well. I went yeah, for the desk. Yeah. <laughs> OK. What would be the atheist version of that? It would be a largely silent howl of punk rage. <laughs> Question next. Um, Clive, mm. you were filming a segment about street crime. Rising levels of street crime, yeah. And um, Matthew was filming me doing a piece to camera. And it often happens when you're in the middle of the street and, you know, things are going on and so forth. People are coming up behind you and mooning or they come up and doing this kind of thing while you're trying to do the piece to camera. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> and um, this kid comes up behind and goes like this. I, of course, didn't see him do that, but Matthew saw that Definitely happen. a kid, not a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> he took one hand off the lens to say, get out of the shot. And someone <laughs> ran up behind him and just grabbed the camera <laughs> off wow. him. Wow. The camera's quite big and heavy. Yeah, They're very. heavy, exactly. So he legged it with the camera, yeah. with the, holding it by the handle, yeah. running like this. Yes. Me and Matthew legged it after him, and because they're quite heavy, yeah. He couldn't continue that far, so he just dropped it. So you got the camera back, but presumably it was badly damaged. It was a bit knackered, yeah. Yes. But the film, the main thing was the film was intact. But a television camera, that's not a very useful no. thing for them to steal, is it? You flog it. It's pretty noticeable, isn't it? If you go, oh, we've got this television camera. No, it's no. my granny's. You'd, you'd be... <laughs> <laughs> you 
You'd be surprised. What, do you, what you want is an iPhone or some cash, don't you? I mean, kids, no. what you want no. is an iPhone <laughs> or some cash. <laughs> <Not> ca <laughs> Can I touch Matthew's arms? The feel was oh. muscles. Yes, you can. Because yeah. if yes. you're a cameraman, you yes. got to have guns. Yes. Right? Well, feel free. <laughs> okay. Not, not, you bear in mind. Not necessarily. A lot of, lot of guys wear braces now. So. Bear in mind, Matthew's not allowed to speak. Right. So I won't of, engage. None of your probing questions. Not gonna. Thank you. <laughs> Quite strong. <laughs> and the other one. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh. Wow. You work out. Does he? No, not a word. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Yeah. I you wish I had a drop fidget spinner in his suit. I wouldn't have done it if I'd have known that. <laughs> <laughs> OK, now, what about Lee? He's having soup and fidget spinners. Well, uh, what is a fidget spinner, yes, firstly? I Do you really not that. know? A fidget no. spinner is all the rage at the moment. You get them in different shapes and sizes, and you spin it on your finger, and it just spins uh, round. right. Lee, I've got one here. <laughs> if you want to... Uh... Yes. So, that is the fidget spinner. Uh, you place it on the finger and you, and you basically just spin it round and it's quite relaxing. Where were you when you were fidgeting with this? We were in a restaurant, me and my friend. But if you're in a restaurant eating soup, surely yeah. you wouldn't be spinning things on your finger. Yeah. I did not say I was eating soup. Were you eating soup? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but you seem very adept But I didn't that. say I was eating soup. No, because I, it landed I, I, in his soup. Okay. Describe the scene. You're in a restaurant. Who are you with? I'm with Eddie the Hat, who's a mate of mine. Eddie the Hat. Eddie the hat. Is, it, is that a nickname or is he a hat? No, he's... Have you, <laughs> have you befriended a hat? He's, uh, no, he's Eddie the Hat because he's a nickname we have because... Um, I don't care. Weirdly... <laughs> weirdly, he never wears hats. Now, so you're having uh, a meal with Eddie. Eddie the Hat! Where's Matthew? Matthew is sat, I would say, not a million miles away from the distance he is now, so a little bit nearer, so... At the next table? Well, if, yes. So you're having soup with one hand and... <laughs> <You're doing this. laughs> ..using the Which spinner is... with the other, is that right? I'd had the last few mouthfuls, the bowl was still there, and then, as we all do, well, since I stopped smoking, I decided to have a quick spin. And you can still spin in a restaurant. <laughs> they haven't started the rule, we have to spin outside. OK. <laughs> Did you feel, as you were eating the soup, a bit of spinning coming on? I did. I always do towards the end of a... Of a, of a particularly... Um, do you, after breakfast, do you, do you spin with your every, cup of coffee? Every opportunity to keep my... to keep... stop my hands feeling busy. It was something the therapist told me to do. I think it's to keep your hands busy is the expression, <laughs> not stop my hands feeling busy. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the words of a maniac. <laughs> It keeps my hands calm because I'm always right. wanting to do things okay. with my hands. Well, like at the moment, I want to punch David in the face. My fidget spinner, I wouldn't do it. So there you are. You're having a post soup spin. I'm having a little spin. What happens? So I'm spinning away, and Eddie the Hat's talking about things, you know. And he's quite impressed. He's going, "You can really spin that quite fast, can't you?" And I said, "Oh yeah." And I got a little bit carried away, and I really went for a massive one. It flew off. The spinner landed in the soup, and that explosion of tomato soup went all over his shirt, his jacket, and his trousers. Wow. Um, what happened to the spinner? He took the spinner out like that. He was disgusted at me. He gave it back. I didn't help matters by going, yep, still working. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, we need an answer. So, David's team, is Matthew Richard's atheist ally, Clive's cameraless cameraman, or could it be Lee's dirty diner? Well, he, he, he's got strong arms, he's wiry, he could be a cameraman. He looks like, looks a, cameraman. like a cameraman. He could really. also, of course, eat in a restaurant, mm. because anyone can. Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> and he looks about the right age to have been at school with Richard. Do you see the problem? <laughs> <laughs> I would say Clive. And do you think...? I think Clive... Yep, he's he a cameraman. Hit Clive. Well, Defo. I think it's Richard. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. It sounds to me like the truth is somewhere between Clive and Richard. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to overrule. We'll say Clive. Thank you. OK, they're saying that it's Clive. Matthew, would you please reveal your true identity? I'm Matthew, and Richard and I did start an atheist club. <laughs> Yes, Matthew is Richard's atheist ally. Thank you very much, Matthew. Thank you.